Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will go over the new released of the SDR blog version 4 dongle and see what is better about it. The version 4 boasts an extended frequency range, allowing users to dive into a broader spectrum of signals. This expanded range opens up new possibilities for exploration. With an impressively low noise figure, this dongle ensures optimal sensitivity, enabling users to capture weak signals with exceptional clarity. This is particularly advantageous when exploring distant or faint transmissions. The version 4 has extended frequency range. There is no need for the direct sampling mode like version 3 had, due to the built-in up converter. The built-in up converter allows you to tune in to HF right away by tuning to the desired frequency. The inclusion of a high-quality temperature compensated crystal oscillator, TCXO, ensures precise and stable frequency tuning. This feature is crucial for maintaining accuracy during extended listening sessions or when capturing signals over extended periods. The version 4 dongle is housed in a robust aluminum enclosure, providing not only durability but also effective electromagnetic shielding. This shielding minimizes interference, enhancing the overall performance of the device. The frequency range for the version 4 is 500 kHz to 1.7 GHz and has up to 3.2 MHz of instantaneous bandwidth and 2.4 MHz stable. A user-friendly design of the version 4 ensures a seamless experience for both beginners and seasoned SDR enthusiasts. Plug-and-play functionality combined with powerful features makes it accessible to a wide audience. However, the version 4 does not work with most software as the driver requirements have changed for the, the version 4 to work, but there is software for the version 4 on GitHub that will work. Also note that the version 4 is a limited edition because the R828D chip is out of production now. The version 4 has exceptional sensitivity, enabling users to capture weak signals with clarity and precision. However, if you are going to use this dongle for HF reception, I suggest getting an outside loop antenna like the MLA30+. I use this antenna myself. I will leave a link in the description. The version 4's initial release is a significant milestone in the world of software-defined radio. Whether you are a seasoned SDR enthusiast or a newcomer to the hobby, the SDR version 4 dongle offers a compelling combination of features and benefits. Remember, the version 4 is a limited edition because the R828D chip is completely out of production. If this has changed please comment below and let me know about any updates. Always remember transmitting on a ham radio is illegal without a proper license unless it's an emergency. Thanks for watching. The link will be in the description for further reviewing. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.